Hello and welcome to the Kane and Gordon Show today's best country mix. And joining me right here today is Christine from Southpaw. Christine, how are you? I'm doing great, Caden. How are you? I am fantastic. So why don't we start by, uh, let me ask you, what made you come up with the name Southpaw? So none of us are left-handed, funny enough. Oh, okay. But we like to call ourselves the uh, giving a left-handed punch to country music because we're unexpected. We're from New Jersey. That's not the most common state <laughs> in country music. <laughs> Uh, although, believe it or not, country music uh, has a lot, big, strong history mm -hmm. in New Jersey. It goes way, way back to the very first country album that was ever recorded, was recorded mm -hmm. in Camden, New Jersey. Um, so, yeah, we like to say we're, we're serving up a left punch to the country music industry with our brand of North meets South country mm -hmm. music. That's awesome. So what made you want to start music and create self pop? So I've been performing country music for uh, well over a decade now, mm -hmm. and it almost wasn't even intentional. I, I kind of always was a performer, but I naturally had a country twang to my voice. Mm -hmm. And that might be because of the music that I grew up listening to with my dad, who would be playing um, Alabama mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Leonard Skinner was one of my first um, concerts. So I loved a lot of Southern rock. Mm -hmm. And every time I sang, I just kind of had this natural twang. And so I, I naturally was playing in country cover bands for years. Um, someone joked that those years were the quote unquote liquor store tour because mm -hmm. I was playing in some divey bars back then. And then later on, I hooked up with Colin and Sean, who are my current bandmates in Southpaw. They were writing their own original music, which was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. They had a couple CDs out and um, we were performing their original music. And then we thought, hey, why don't we, why don't we cater to Christine's voice and use our songwriting skills and their incredible musician skills to enter the country music realm. And it was such a natural fit. And we've been rocking country for now, I'm gonna say two years and change. That's awesome. So if you could uh, do it or collaborate with any singer, whether they're alive or dead, who would you choose with my Christine? Oh, oh, alive or dead. Oh, that's <laughs> really interesting. Okay, so if dead, I'm going to say Johnny Cash, because I would mm. love to be the quasi June Carter to Johnny Cash and duet with him that way. Um, but alive, I'm going to have to say Dolly Parton. Um, I'm just a huge Dolly Parton fan not just musically, but yeah. her as a person. And I've actually met a couple of people in the industry who've worked with her on some of her music. And they say that she is a gem in person, just what you would expect. She's that nice in person. So I would love to coordinate with her and become BFFs with Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really cool. And the reason why I was specific with that, because people always ask me that question, do you mean alive or dead? I'm like, both I guess right that's why I, that's why it's like I included in the question now it's like almost natural <laughs> that's I like it I like it yeah absolutely so if someone was to write a song about something that's occurred in your life or something about you Ooh. a personality or trait about you what would they write about so I talk about this with my girlfriends a lot mm -hmm. that um not that I'm a shallow person. I, I'm a very well-read person. I used to be mm -hmm. a book editor. So I enjoy deep thoughts and deep conversations. But I also think that simple fun is underrated. Mm -hmm. And people who know me in person kind of know I'm, I'm one of those people who loves fun, seeks out fun. I want to make everyone around me have fun. Um, so I feel like if someone were to write a song about me, it, it would definitely have some element of fun and peppiness and mm -hmm. let's find the bright side, glass half full. That's kind of um, what I hope to emanate more than anything else. Wonderful, wonderful. And that's super true. I think, you know, that is really true. Right? Like life's too mm -hmm. short and life is so hard and oh, absolutely. bad things happening in the world right now. So I think people who listen to our first album and who are now going to come across our music in 2022 are going to see that we are adding some more fun. Awesome, awesome. 
So um, why don't you tell us a little bit about any uh, upcoming singles, projects, anything like that you got going on? Sure, sure. So we're working on our second album. Our debut album, Unhitched, came out in 2021. Mm -hmm. And now in 2022, we've got a bunch of new music that we are going to be releasing later in the year. But our first single is Whiskey and Wine, spelled W H. I-N-E, like whining. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Whining. <laughs> um, we That's coming out actually this Friday, July 1st. It'll be available on all streaming platforms and on iTunes. And we wanted to write a classic drinking song, but with a twist, because that's always mm. the Southpaw way. We always like to surprise <laughs> people and do something a little different. So we made it a hangover song. It's, it's just as much mm -hmm. about the hangover as it is about the good time you have the uh -huh. night before while imbibing a little too much. So that's where the whining comes in. It's uh -huh. too much whiskey, you know, Friday night, Saturday morning equals whining. And it's got the clever lyrics that mm -hmm. Southpaw is known for. Um, and it's going to be the summer jam of the summer. I think it's super fun. It's got some killer drive hard driving instrumentation in it um you're gonna want to get up and dance and sing mm -hmm. along to the chorus everyone who listens to it says the whiskey and wine gets stuck in their head so i think that's what you're gonna find and this fall we'll be going to nashville in october because we mm -hmm. also just found out that we were nominated for two josie music awards for country group of the year and female vocalist of the year, which is yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping to release another single or two uh, before we hit Nashville. Absolutely awesome. That's awesome. So um, kind of walk me through a day to day of Christine. I know it's not necessarily typical, but why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Well, you know, and it depends on what we have coming out because of course right now it's insane. We have this single dropping on Friday. Mm -hmm. So the lead up is a ton of marketing and we are still an independent band. Mm -hmm. So we do the majority of our marketing ourselves. Right. So right. day to day, I'm producing a bunch of social media content. I'm interviewing with uh, podcast Mm -hmm. people with influencers on social media with radio stations mm -hmm. uh, our music has been on over 600 radio stations worldwide so whenever I get the chance if someone wants me to have a little chat on air I'm always <laughs> ready willing, <laughs> and able um, so you know a lot of that type of thing mm -hmm. goes on before the release of music and then when you have like the downtime Mm -hmm. after a song has been released you still have to upkeep all those relationships yeah. keep working on getting more streams on spotify and whatnot but at the same time i'll have more downtime to do the writing and the mm -hmm. recording of new stuff so we are constantly writing and creating new music not all of it will make it on the next album because that's just natural you write mm -hmm. things you collaborate with your bandmates and you decide uh, yes or no, is this worthy of our second album? So that's where we're at right now with the creation aspect of album number two. And um, it's, that's the best, that's my favorite part of this whole process is the creative collaboration with my two bandmates, Sean mm -hmm. and Colin. It's, it really is magic what happens when three people get together mm -hmm. and basically write poetry and put that to music. It's really cool. Very, very cool. And that's the beauty of music itself. And I think this industry and, you know, having this platform to be able to talk with you today and everything. So. Yes. And I really appreciate that you support independent musicians because it's not, mm -hmm. you know, it's not easy for us. Sometimes we got to work our tails off mm -hmm. to get our stuff out there. And so when we come across, People like you, it's just so awesome that you embrace quality music from independent artists. Absolutely. And it's really my pleasure. I think um, it's important to, you know, get everybody out there. Yay. I love so, that. Yeah, that's how I look at it. So because you don't really want to downgrade the huge musicians because obviously right. they're good too, but you also want to give everybody an opportunity. That's how I look at it. Anyway. Yes. So. I actually really enjoy watching mm -hmm. 
some artists who started out on the smaller side and, and yeah, watching yeah, yeah. their progress. When we first started our journey as country musicians, mm -hmm. I was following Lainey Wilson, mm -hmm. who at the time really only kind of had one big song out there. And I, I was marveling at how hard she was working. She was doing mm -hmm. inter like five interviews a day, just busting her behind um, to get noticed. And now I've seen her completely skyrocket and win all these mm -hmm. music awards and tour with the big guys. So it's, it's really fun to watch how talent will rise to the top. Absolutely. So where do you, you see yourself in the next five to 10 years? Where do you see Southpaw as well? I would love to see Southpaw's music um, reach different arenas other than mm -hmm. your standard listeners. Mm -hmm. And by that, I mean, I would love a Southpaw song in a TV show or commercial yeah. mm -hmm. or movie. Uh, I grew up as a huge movie buff and TV mm -hmm. buff. I actually uh, focused on screenwriting in grad school. Mm -hmm. So I would love to see one of our songs take off in that area. So fingers crossed <laughs> on that. And we'd love to um, maybe collaborate with a, a bigger artist than we are, somebody who might want to take one of our songs and put their own spin on it. Here's looking at you, Dolly. Uh, <laughs> Dolly writes all her own music. <laughs> she doesn't do that. But there are plenty of our artists who do use uh, quite a bit of work written by other artists. And I think that would be really cool to um, collaborate in that way with some big names. That would be really cool. And like you said, you never know. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, absolutely. So um, what do you like doing outside of music? Do you have any hobbies, interests when you have the time, of course? So my all-time favorite hobby, which some people are surprised about because I maybe I don't look the part necessarily, but fishing is my favorite hobby. And it has been since I was a kid. My dad mm -hmm. was an avid fisherman and taught me, you know, how to do it well. I live mm -hmm. right near a pond that's very well stocked. So I currently have worms in my fridge right now, <laughs> <laughs> ready to rock. And in the summer, I will stay in a little house on a lagoon. I don't know if you oh, know. Okay. Oh, you, do you have lagoons like where you're not near the beach in, in Massachusetts, no, right? No. Yeah. So it's basically like a canal. Oh, okay. Yeah. It comes mm -hmm. off of the bay. Yeah. And um, you, I'll just fish all day. I never get tired of it. It's my <laughs> favorite activity. So um, that's kind of like one of my passions. And I also love cooking. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of those freaks who pretends that I'm hosting a cooking show as I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I need to get one of my songs in a cooking show, you know, and be like, country cooking, you know something get a song. yeah they're like a theme Fatal. song so, right. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah or like a commercial you know like one of those uh jingle type commercials yes i would love it my little sister and i growing up we wrote a whole song mm -hmm. that was just taking snippets from commercials and packing it oh, all yeah. together <laughs> and but now i feel like do people even watch commercials other than in oh, super yeah. bowl mm -hmm. we're all just now we can all skip them right right that's very true. You know, some people <laughs> just skip them or, or they pay to not even have commercials right, like right. Amazon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm guilty so. as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. So um, where can people find you on social media if they want to keep up with what you're doing? Okay. On social media, we are Southpaw City. So okay. Southpaw City on Instagram, Facebook, and then our website is southpawcity.com. Awesome. Oh, yeah. If there is one place that you would like to go to uh, perform at, where would you go and why? Ooh, well, I'd love to perform at the Opry in Nashville because anybody who's mm -hmm. anyone in country music has performed of course. there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, I'd love to travel abroad. That's something I find very appealing. And mm -hmm. we are finding that our music is getting such a great reception in the UK, mm -hmm. in Australia, in Ireland, believe it or not. And even the Netherlands was one of the first places to play Southpaw, a radio station in the Netherlands. So I would love to go abroad and 
you know, maybe do a little trip visiting some of these radio mm-hmm. stations that played us or do one of the big concerts over there uh, because I'm finding that country music is actually huge Mm -hmm. in other places than America. And what's really interesting is that without all this support with like from other worldwide, we wouldn't even know that country music was a big thing and technology has a big part in playing that as well. That's true, right? Now it's, Mm -hmm. we're like one, we're like one city now. Pretty (laughs) much, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) For sure. So um, is, is there a message that you would like to give your fans that might be listening or watching this? I would say stay tuned for some really incredible stuff coming from Southpaw that's both fun and is going to touch your heart. Um, we really have put our hearts and souls into the forthcoming music. And our number one goal is entertaining our fans right? Mm -hmm. It's not just about ourselves anymore. We want to reach our fans. We want to touch Mm -hmm. them. We want to make them laugh, party, maybe cry a little, (laughs) then (laughs) laugh again. Mm -hmm. Um, So we really are putting the fans in mind. What do you guys want? What do you respond to? And I think they're going to really find that our new music is going to get under their skin in the best possible way. That is just wonderful. And uh, Christine, is there anything I forgot to mention that you would like to mention, my friend? I don't think so. Just we'll, we'll have a fun video coming out for Whiskey and Wine in a couple weeks. And until then, stream, 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 add it to your playlists. You're going to love it. It's the perfect summer song, Whiskey and Wine. And that comes out July 1st, you said? Yes, this yes, Friday. July 1st. Yep. Mm-hmm. I highly Friday. encourage everybody to check it out. Thanks so much, Kaden. You are most welcome. And again, I'd like to thank Christine for taking the time to come on the Kaden Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. We sure do appreciate it so much. And it was awesome talking with you. You too. I hope to talk to you soon.